Hey everybody, as you have probably already noticed, this video is going to be pretty much completely different than any video I've ever done before, and there is a reason for this. Uh, normally today, I would be releasing a Let's Play that I recorded on the Pixel Shadow Extreme Survival server. Unfortunately, that server is experiencing some problems and is not online, so I could not record an episode there, so I thought instead we would just take a look at some YouTube analytics of a little YouTuber who has uh, 445 videos, and I thought it gave me subscriber count here. I think I have to go to my dashboard to see that. Um, so yeah, why not? Because, I mean, what, what better could we possibly have to do with our time than to look at my YouTube dashboard? I don't know. If you don't want to watch, click away. I will not mind. Um, so first things first, 458 subscribers. This video was recorded on Sunday, January 15th in the year 2017. It'll be released on Thursday, whichever day that would make it. 19th, I think, will be the release date on this. Um, so yeah, at that point in time, I had 458 subscribers and a total of 154,553 views. I've got tons of videos. Oh, actually, this this is something fun to look at. Um, blah, 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 blah. Let's find where this is. Duke Cakes of Varium 28. Uh, that is slated to release on January 31st. Believe it or not, I have Duke Cakes of Varium recorded up to, I think, 36. I just recorded yesterday. Not... I haven't uploaded anything past 29 yet. I need to get on that. But yes, I have Duke Cakes of Varium recorded way super far in advance. Um, and actually, this is just kind of something else cool to look at. Uh, Duke Cakes of Varium 27, 26. It's mostly Duke Cakes of Variums from back here. Uh, my 0415 release video published on the 23rd of December 2016. 1,965 views, 67 comments, 41 plus or thumbs up, and 3 thumbs down, which is horrible. <laughs> Who could thumb down my video? That's so sad. Um, I was actually very pleasantly surprised at this video. I uploaded this video last night for uh, a dude on the mind test forms. I'm sorry about the flickering on my screen. For some weird reason, OBS wouldn't let me screen grab from Chrome, but it worked perfectly fine to do Blender yesterday. And it works perfectly fine when I do mind tests on all of my mind test videos. I don't know if it's something Chrome has, so you like to stop hacking or something, or if it's just something weird. I don't know. OBS kept crashing, and not whatever give me for this was a black screen. So I don't know. This is what we have to deal with. But anyway, I uploaded this video last night, 7:06 p.m. I already has 64 views, and I uploaded it for one person in particular, and it got six thumbs up. Like I don't even know who was watching this. I don't even know where this got shared. Like, I put it on the form topic for him. And uh, YouTube automatically set, puts my video links on Twitter and Google+. Plus. I think at the two places it automatically shares to. And then, of course, any of my subscribers could have seen it. Which, I guess, that's probably where all these views came from. But still, 64 views in less than 24 hours, that's pretty good. Uh, who cares about the community? I don't know why I went to channel. I didn't mean to click that. I meant to go to analytics just to look at some of this stuff. Um, okay, so I rec I um, created my channel back in uh, February 2nd of 2011. I was not doing my test videos at that point. was not doing any kind of realistic uploading. Um, it was just like test renders from in Blender and... There's a couple stop motion animation videos, like the first four or five uploads. Um, but yeah, it, I was, it wasn't anything serious. It was just something I kind of did for fun just to put them because I made these videos because I enjoyed them. I was like, well, I should probably let people see these. There's really no point in making them if no one's ever going to see it. So I got a couple of those. You can actually find them still. They're, you pretty much just have to go to like the first one or two pages of my videos all the way back. So I guess the last one or two pages. And they're there, and you can watch them and hate on them or whatever. Um, 
some weird things I want to mention on here. Uh, watch time. This is the last 28 days, so pretty much the last month. 3,896 minutes, which, according to this hover over, is 21 days and 10 hours. 21 days and 10 hours. So that almost means... And I know for a lot of big YouTube channels, if, you know, they're doing like a year's worth of views every hour or whatever. But there's almost someone constantly watching my videos. Is what this is telling me. Because in the last 28 days, there was 21 days and 10 hours worth of watch time. So there were seven days where my videos weren't watched at all. Which isn't how it actually works. This is an average and everything. You know, there could have been all this view, all these videos could have been watched at the exact same time. And then for the rest of the month, zero videos are watched. I know that's not the case, but for the way this statistic works, it could have happened that way. Average view duration. This I don't really understand. Like, my average view duration, 5 minutes, 24 seconds. That's, I think, my peak. Uh, 6 minutes and 3 seconds. That's my peak average view duration uh, for one of the days in the last 28 days. Overall average is... Three minutes and 53 seconds which means one of two things <laughs> either there's a lot of people watching like the first couple minutes of my video and then just like oh this is boring this is stupid i'm not gonna watch this anymore which is entirely possible and then they're never watching it to the end or there's a lot of people who are clicking on a video watching like the first two or three seconds and then clicking away to another video i really don't know which it is i'm assuming it's more the latter than the previous wait that means the same thing, doesn't it? It's more the second than the first, where there's people watching for just a few seconds and then clicking away. This I do not understand. My views. In the last 28 days. You know, it's... Wow, that flickering is so annoying. And I'm not even, like, looking at it too much. Um, It kind of floats around here in the 200 to 300s, mostly. And then for some crazy reason... It jumps up to 983 views. But this is where it gets really weird. My average view duration goes down to a minute and 54 seconds. How do I get 983 views and have a minute and 54 seconds in my average view duration? Because the last point on these would be Saturday, I think on these two graphs because these graphs are the same time period so my views went way way up but my average view duration went way way down doesn't make sense to me my revenue also went down to a penny from 10 cents which the revenue i don't even really count on this number being overly accurate for something that close because they already delay revenue by a day just just because like i guess um likes went way up 80% increase. Wow. Comments went up about 40%, which is pretty cool. Shares went up 12%. Videos and playlists. I don't even know what this analytic actually means. Videos and playlists. Like, I have all my videos and playlists. I know other people can add my videos to their playlists. Like, when you like a video, it goes to a playlist you have called Favorites, which you can choose whether it's public or not. So I don't really know what this means or how that's supposed to really affect anything on my end. Like, what would I do different to make more videos? Going, I don't, I don't know. I don't understand that. And then um, my subscriber count has gone up 114%, which is pretty good. Now for the fun stuff. Oh, wait, wait. Let's, let's, let's not look at that yet. Watch time in minutes. The Mind Test 0.4.15 release video, which admittedly was kind of a, a big deal when it came out. And my views skyrocketed that first day somebody posted my video on the forum topic on the my test forums was not me somebody else posted my link there which i appreciate but i was like you know i could do this but you know what i probably shouldn't because that's just like self-promotion and i kind of don't like it when people just share all their links and stuff but never anybody else's links it's like dude all you're doing is you're just coming to this forum just to try to promote yourself. I don't I don't want that. I want someone who actually is like involved in the community. So I kind of try not to share my links too much on the forums. Obviously on my own forum topics for my release videos I do, but like I've made mod reviews on a lot of mods and I don't usually post on that forum topic anywhere. A lot of times I don't even actually like message the um 
the mod creator and let him know that I made a mod review, which maybe I should. I don't know. But a lot of times I don't. Like, I think maybe I've done four or five people that I've done that for. And then uh, if anybody ever does, like, a request for a mod review or a tutorial or something, I always send them an email as soon as it's uploaded and then they can watch it. But, yeah, I usually I try to be uh, not so pushy when I make videos and, like, trying to get people to watch them. That way I prefer to let them kind of find it organically or other people sharing my content. Um, I don't know. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with promoting your content more. But I, I just not me, so that's not what I do. But anyway, uh, I got this video is super good. And also, there's no, I pretty much garnished no revenue off of these 7,570 minutes of view, which is 25% of the last month, pretty much, of my videos being played, which is pretty insane. Um, but I don't have ads on that, which is why there's no revenue on there. Um, I will put ads on it once I do an 0416 release video. You'll notice down here is the 0414 release video. Um, and this I've made 10 cents off of because I put an ad like in the middle of it. And what I did on this video is at the beginning, I put a um, an annotation in saying something along the lines of 0415 is released. Click here to watch the, the new release video. So, you know, I'm trying to get people to watch the newer video because the old video was, it was pretty much my most watched video for months and months. And it's dropped pretty drastically. Um, is it? It is here. Okay. The Wonderful World of Aluna. This, they must have shared on their community. This video was published January 11th. So, two weeks ago. And, uh, yeah. It's already my fourth most watched video for this month. And it's been up for two weeks. So I don't know who with what following shared this video where, but that's that's pretty good for watch time. Now that's only 0.9% of my views, which is kind of crazy. But uh, I think it's people that were watching this video because this is what's well, a 35 minute video, but people that were watching this video must have been uh, watching it most of the way through instead of clicking and then clicking away. Now scrolling down to the interesting stuff. Oh, this isn't even the right. Let me pull up the more um, ba -da -da. audience reports, demographics. So I'm unfortunately, this is probably no surprise to anybody. Mostly it's dudes that watch my videos. Only a very small percentage of females. And even if I drag that back, it's mostly 25 to 34 old year dudes and 0.9 percent females in that age range um how do i undo that now mm, last 28 days boop there we go um kind of surprising though that i have two percent viewership of males that are 65 plus years old and 2.8 percent in the 55 to 64 of males and a 0.4 of females like that's kind of not to say anything rude or insensitive or whatever word you want to put on it but that's kind of old I feel for people to be watching video game videos I mean hey if they want to I absolutely don't care they can do whatever they want with their life they definitely deserve it at you know making it as old as they have definitely not dissing them or anything but I just, it surprises me that somebody in that age would even be interested in video games. Uh, the 45 to 54 year old, like I got 13% viewership, male and 1.4 and female. And obviously you can see these numbers, so I don't even know I'm reading all of them. <laughs> but yeah, that's still, that, it kind of boggles my mind. Like I thought people that were interested in games like this were mostly like younger. But maybe that I've just been tainted because the servers that I mod on are full of pre-adolescent kids that go around calling each other names and griefing each other's stuff and just being spoiled brats. Whatever the case, this is uh, it's pretty impressive, the age range I have. Now, I'm not sure how Google really comes up with these ages. Like, how do they know? 
I don't know, but whatever. Um, and then we have like your watches, blah, blah, blah. And you can break it down to videos even, which is, can, can I sort this? Oh, come on, really, I can't? I wanted to see which video had the most female viewership so I could know what I did right in that video and know how to uh, appeal to more females. Do I just need to have my face in this video? Totally joking there. Don't get any weird ideas, people. Um, playback locations. This is pretty boring. It's mostly on the YouTube page. YouTube watch page is where most of my views come from. Embedded in external websites or apps, 2.2%. That's probably on my website. And the YouTube channel page, I don't even know what that really is outside of YouTube watch page. But that's 0.6%. Traffic sources. This is an interesting thing to look at. Um, I'm probably going to end it after this because this is probably boring for most people. Um, but this pretty much tells you where views are coming from. The graph's kind of confusing. Okay, it's not confusing at all. Actually, it makes a lot of sense, but it's almost easier just to look at this. So suggested videos. Where's the percentage? Right here. 25% of my views I get are from suggested videos. So you know how when you're watching YouTube on the Oh, you don't even see my hands. I don't know. I'm doing hand motions. You can't see them on the little, in the little corner of the screen right here. You can't see my hand motions. So I don't know why I'm bothering. But you know how on the right-hand side of the screen you get like suggested videos or I think it's called related videos or whatever. 25% of my views come from people clicking on those. The browse feature. I don't even really know what the browse feature is. I think that's, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that is. External views. Those are coming from websites. I think I can actually look at that and get a breakdown, which I will do. YouTube search, 16%. YouTube channels, 8%. Playlist, 8.6. Director unknown, 3.5. Playlist page, blah, 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 blah. Notifications. Yeah, my notifications. Like, okay, so for any of you that don't upload YouTube videos, you have an option. And it's kind of even a weird option to have. But when you upload a video, you can have it notify your subscribers. And so pretty much they get, like when they visit their YouTube page or they log in whatever there's like a little notification thing up in the corner and it'll say hey they upload a new video why you would ever turn that off i don't know because why wouldn't you want people to know you uploaded a video you uploaded a video so people could watch it so it doesn't make sense to not check that but that only gives me 1.1 percent of my views so does it not work or what uh video cards and annotations those are usually at the end of the video but they could be at the front with annotations so you can put them anywhere um, and those are just like the little things that pop on the screen saying, you know, I did a new version or, you know, there's a new release or make sure you check out this video too or whatever. People click on those and then they watch another video. That gives me 0.9%. If you go back through my videos, there is a time where I never did end annotations at all. And then I started doing it and I saw zero change in anything. And I did it for a while like several months and it was actually a pain in the butt because you had to do every single video individually so every time you did it you had to go to your annotation screen editor thing take the last x amount of your video put in your annotations individually link them all individually i hated it which is why i stopped doing it <clears throat> sorry i keep burping i just ate lunch like half an hour ago um so yeah, I, I didn't see any advantage in doing it. So I was like, forget this, I'm done. It's not doing anything for me. I'm, just, I'm not gonna keep wasting my time. And then YouTube came up with um, end screens is what they called it. Um, it's the, the bottom one here. End screens, great idea. Takes the last 20 seconds. I think you can actually change, 20 seconds is the longest. I think you can make it shorter and you get four elements you can put out there. So you can have a link to your website, a subscribe button, you know, check out my most recent upload or recommended video or whatever but you have four things you can put on your screen. And what's really nice about this is you upload a new video and so say for example, I do mod reviews, as I'm sure you very well know. I can on the end of screen for my mod review, you know, I build one that has a subscribe button, visit my website or, you know, request a review or whatever. I can have a link to my most recent video and maybe a link to my mod review playlist. So I make that once. Then the next time I upload a mod review video, I just import from video. It takes like three button clicks the import from video, scroll a little bit to find the video I want to import from, and then click the OK button. And it grabs those four elements from the video and throws them on this video. And no more am I messing with links all the time and 
it saves so much time. I'm so glad YouTube came up with it. Um, I've been doing it since, well, January. So 15, 15 days, uh, two weeks. So 10 videos. Yeah, pretty much 10 videos. I've had those. And um, that has earned me 90 minutes of watch time, which is 0.3% of my total viewership. So not much, but when you think about it, I have 445 videos. 10 videos out of 445 is like nothing. Like, really, honestly. It's like nothing. It's like 2% somewhat-ish. Actually, that's probably very close, actually. 2.2% or something. It's not much, but it's already made an impact. So, definitely going to keep doing those, especially because they're so easy to do. Um, no, like I was saying, I think I can click on the... Ba, 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 external here. Yerp. Okay. So, some of this is... I don't understand at all, but whatever. Google search. So, people just, like, searching for my test video. I keep doing hand motions. You can't see them. This is lame. I need to... I really need to figure out a new backdrop because this is not working. My lighting is horrible. This is, like, the first time using this webcam and everything for video. And pss, it's not turning off the rest, best. But yeah, Google search gives me 40% of my views, which no surprises there. Reddit gives me 26%, which kind of a surprise because actually I think I do have a Reddit account and I use it like three times. Like this is so stupid. This is the absolute most useless website. I do not understand. What is the point of this? It just, it doesn't make sense to me, but I, I think there's a mind test page on Reddit. So I'm assuming someone's sharing my videos there, which whatever, it's fine. It's cool. You know, I'm definitely not going to complain. Uh, my own website brings me 9.3% of my traffic. Wahoo. I have a feeling not a lot of people are visiting my website to uh, watch YouTube videos. Whatever. Mindtest.net. Now, I think... This is giving me 9.1%. I think the forums are considered a subdomain of Mindtest.net. And therefore, this is views from forums. So, like, you know, when people post a link to a mod review I did on their mod on, like, the first page or whatever... Those links, I think, are counted under mytest.net. Unknown. Even, how could you have an unknown source? But I think if you do a realm will follow in the link, you'll have an unknown source. YouTube, which I don't understand, is 3.4%. But on that previous page, YouTube watch page was something huge. So I don't understand how you can have multiple YouTubes or whatever. Bing.com, evidently, gives me traffic. Google+, Plus, I share my videos on Google+. Plus. That's giving me 35 minutes of view time in the last month. Wahoo. DuckDuckGo, Yahoo Search. And then we just get to like super spammy stuff, which I don't even understand how that works. Com e Stone Inhaler gave me 24 minutes of views. Ecosia.org, Samsung Internet for Android. Yeah, Yastatic.net, Safari app. Org Quantum Badger Red Reader? terrypratchettbooks.com like why is Terry Pratchett Books linking to any of my videos I don't like this whole section here is all just spam I think quant.com like what then I have Google again but I had Google search here so what's this Google I don't know some of this stuff's weird VK I've never heard of VK Facebook Facebook book gave me 9 minutes of watch time way to go on that Facebook fan page I think I have 6 fans on it so, yes, if you're on Facebook and you do not follow me on my Facebook fan page, you should do that just so this number could maybe go higher. Of course, that's assuming there's still anybody watching this video because it's probably super boring. GitHub has sent me six minutes of viewership, which I'm assuming is probably somebody in their readme included a link to one of my videos for their mod. Messicons.net, I'm assuming they must have linked one of my videos. Kneeboard me, Android browser. And this actually continues me kakrama red tilt slide chroma chrome app yandex embedly the luna mind test tk gave me one minute so i guess they linked my videos way to go luna guys thanks verizon messaging made awkward beam whatsapp adguard says nam sleeterer Com Google Android YouTube. <laughs> like, you know this stuff has to be just spam sites. Com Google Android YouTube. GitHub.com. I don't even understand why they're here because there's no views. Oh, wait, there are views. So they didn't even watch anything. Okay. 
free Reddit news. I thought Reddit was a free website anyways. Com Hawaii. Is that is that pronounced Hawaii? I guess I don't really know. It's a cell phone ma um, manufacturer. Android internal app. Uh, and then Gmail. Somebody emailed someone a link from my videos. That's kind of weird. Maybe. I don't know. Um... Yes, yeah, so about 25 minutes. Let's uh, let's probably stop this about here. Uh, video shares. Because I can see that too. Mine does the old 415 release video. Had three shares. 2007 Honda Silverwing battery removal. Yes, I do own a Honda Silverwing. I do enjoy driving it. It's a very fun bike. Um, but I've, I did some videos on that. Which actually have done surprisingly well. Oh, it doesn't tell me the views. But that was shared twice. Mesticon's video was shared... Creating Mobs with Blender was shared. The Castle Review, which is actually pretty recent, was shared. And Installing Subgames on Linux was shared as well. Oh, End of Screens is here. Let's let's just take a quick look at that. Um, so as I was saying, yep, the End of Screens you can put on your videos. It looks like I have six videos. I just leave them on for the last 20 seconds worth. And yeah, you can see... Do I have... Oh, there is one for annotation. Let's take a quick peek at that. So I have, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've had seven clicks on end screen elements in the last 28 days. Annotations, I have had 10, all on the 0414 release video. Probably people that then went to watch the 0415 release video. Annotations, not worth it. They don't do anything. End screens, they've done stuff for me. So yeah, that's why I'm doing those. And it's a good thing it's only shown 666 end screen elements. Otherwise, my channel would probably be, I don't know, some kind of Illuminati satanic something. Because it would be, you know, um, three sixes. You know, 666 and that. Dude, that would, that would be that would be rough. Okay, well, gonna leave, just going to cut it off here, guys. So, um, yeah, sorry there wasn't a... The Pixel Shadow Extreme Survival Server Let's Play today. Hopefully things get sorted out on that server and we can get back to that. Um, until that point, let me know in the comments what you want me to do to, uh, you know, fill up this slot. Because I gotta have something. I can't just have a day where there's no uploads. That would, that would be horrible. So, so yeah, let me know. Also, uh, if you if you wouldn't mind, of course, let me know in the comments what you thought about, uh, yeah, about having me in the corner here. And uh, I know the lighting was horrible. Like if I had my curtain open, which is off on off on the side I'm looking to here, the sunlight just hit my face, and this side of my face was like pure white, and then this side of my face was just like pure black, and the curtain behind me, which super ghetto rigged by the way i'm honestly surprised it didn't fall down um yeah i'm doing like some color key on that and pff, it's not work that fabric was just sitting in a pile for a long time so it's super wrinkled the lighting's horrible uh optimally one day when i actually like have a room that i can put a studio in i'll just paint a wall that green and then get like some um some lights or something shining back at the wall to give it good illumination and then have some soft lights up on the front to light my face it'll look really nice but that's probably not gonna happen for like six months so yeah i just have to deal with this junk video for right now but yeah guys thanks for watching and i will catch you next time